Hello and welcome to another episode of today's GK. Let's begin with the practice question. NATO Summit of 2022 will be held in. The correct answer is Madrid. Recently, US President and other NATO leaders arrived in Madrid for NATO Summit that will set the course of the alliance for the coming years. It will also decide on a more comprehensive assistance package for Ukraine. Looking to the future, leaders will take decision to launch a 1 billion euro innovation fund to invest in emerging technologies. On climate change, allies will agree to cut greenhouse gas emissions for NATO. As an organization, the leaders of Georgia, Australia, New Zealand, Japan, South Korea and Ukraine will join the summit virtually. The headquarter of the International Renewable Energy is in. Abu Dhabi is the correct answer. Recently, the Union Cabinet approved a strategic partnership agreement signed between the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy and ARENA. The aim of this is to drive ambition, leadership and knowledge on green energy transitions based on renewable energy in India. This will help India's energy transition efforts and will also help the world in combating climate change. ARENA is an intergovernmental organization supporting countries in their transition to a sustainable energy future. It also serves as the principal platform for international cooperation, a center of excellence and a repository of knowledge on renewable energy. Its headquarters is in Abu Dhabi. Consider the following statements regarding the Coalition for Disaster Resilient Infrastructure. It was launched at COP26 of UNFCCC in Glasgow. Its secretariat is in Geneva. Both are incorrect. D is the correct answer. Recently, the Union Cabinet has approved the categorization of the CDRI as an international organization. It was launched by the Prime Minister of India during the UN Climate Action Summit on the 23rd September 2019 at New York. Its secretariat is in New Delhi. It's a global partnership that aims to promote the resilience of infrastructure systems to climate and disaster risk. With which of the following countries, India signed a Memorandum of Understanding on Cooperation in the Fields of Science, Technology and Innovation. Singapore is the correct answer. Recently, India signed an MOU on Cooperation in the Fields of Science, Technology and Innovation with Singapore. It will provide a mechanism and help in creating the ecosystem that will help innovation and entrepreneurship in both the countries, also leading to new technology creation, manpower training, IP generation through collaboration. A report titled Forecasting Penetration of Electric Two-Wheelers in India has been launched by Niti Aayog is the correct answer. Recently, Niti Aayog and Technology Information Forecasting and Assessment Council launched a report titled Forecasting Penetration of Electric Two-Wheelers in India. The report provides important insights into the required infrastructure, manufacturing capabilities, policies, and technology development priorities in the area. Using a tool made by Niti Aayog, the TIFAC and TIFAC, eight scenarios have been deployed or developed for analyzing the future penetration of electric two-wheelers in the country. The Tunguska event is related to asteroid explosion is the correct answer. On June 30th, 1908, the largest asteroid impact is in recorded history struck on a warm summer morning in Siberia, Russia. Now, it is observed as Asteroid Day each year on June 30th on the anniversary of what's now known as the Tunguska Explosion Event. A mysterious aspect of the Tunguska event was that surprisingly no one ever found a crater. But even without a crater, scientists still categorized it as an impact event. This type of atmospheric explosion was still enough to create a massive damage to the forest in the region. Gulabi Binakari is a GI tag dart form from which of the following states? The correct answer is Uttar Pradesh. At the recently held G7 summit, Prime Minister Modi presented the world leaders with a range of art and craft pieces sourced from various parts of the country. He presented Gulabi Minakari brooch, cufflink set to the US President. Gulabi Minakari is a GI tagged art form from Varanasi in Uttar Pradesh. Other presents included Black Pottery of Nizamabad in UP for Japanese PM. Dokra art that is practiced in Central and Eastern India to presidents of Argentina and South Africa. A hand-painted tea set from Bulan Shehr district was presented to the British PM. Itra bottles in Zardozi box to French president and Pietra Dura or marble inlet tabletop for Italy's PM. The term Blue Deal was recently in the news. Related to which of the following? United Nations Oceans Conference. A Blue Deal is being promoted at the 2022 UN Ocean Conference to enable the sustainable use of ocean resources for economic growth, including global trade, investment, innovation to create a sustainable and resilient ocean economy according to UN Conference on Trade and Development. Coastal and inland developing nations can benefit from sustainable development of the ocean economy. Other than Russia, which of the following has become the first country to recognize the independence of Ukraine's separatist republics of Donetsk and Luhansk? Syria is the correct answer. 
Recently, Syria recognized the independence of eastern Ukraine's two separatist republics, making it the first country other than Russia to do so. The breakaway states of Donetsk and Luhansk are situated in the Donbas region at the center of Russia's invasion and have escaped Kiev's control since 2014. Moscow recognized their independence in February 2022. Recently, scientists have spotted fossils of a new genus of tree shoe from which of the following states or union territories? Jammu and Kashmir is the correct answer. Scientists have spotted fossil fields of small mammal resembling squirrels called tree shrew, belonging to a new genus and species from Ramnagar in Jammu and Kashmir. Currently, it represents the oldest record of fossil tupaids in the Shivaliks. Tree shrew, which is commonly known as Sivatopia ramnagarensis, is from the middle Miocene epoch. Consider the following statements. Regarding India Forum for Nature-Based Solution, it has been launched by the National Institute of Urban Affairs Climate Center for Cities and World Resource Institute of India. It is India's first national coalition platform for urban nature-based solution. So, both are correct. See is the correct answer. Recently, NIUS, Cube, and WRI India launched the India Forum for Nature-Based Solution. It was launched at the 11th World Urban Forum in Poland. India's first national coalition platform for nature-based solution, urban nature-based solution, Ecosystem-based services and nature-based solutions are fast emerging as cost-effective and sustainable ways addressing climate change-induced challenges such as heat, urban flooding, air and water pollution, also storm surges. World Drug Report 2022 is released by. Correct answer we have to choose because this is our practice question. That's it for today. Tomorrow we shall meet again. Thank you so much for watching.